Welcome everybody to the part two of the Omen Obelisk video. I had promised you guys that I would do an updated video on uh, what I did to my computer to, you know, improve the overheating issues. And for a 9700 non-K series for the i7, it still gets a bit toasty. So I'm going to show you guys a few things you can do to actually fix that issue without actually having to pay too much money. So what my first upgrade was when I got the, or after I got the Omen, out, or the, the Omen Obelisk, <laughs> Jesus, is I went out and I got another case, Cooler Master cases. Okay, so your best bet for thermals to start off with would probably be getting a more ventilated case because as you guys know, that case that the PC was built in, not really that great. And you want to make sure that you stick with something that's ATX because that's what comes in the Omen Obelisk. So you got your uh, Cooler Master Master Box TD500 Mesh Airflow, which is, I almost got this one, but it was out of stock at the time, so I ended up going with the Cooler Master H500. ARGB. Now you don't necessarily have to spend this much on a case, but these cases are really easy to build in, very user friendly. Uh, I would recommend going with the Cooler Master H500 a, uh, ARGB because it's got plenty more options. Like, well, sh I shouldn't really say plenty more options. It's probably got about the same amount as the Cooler Master TD500 and. But the main thing, what I'm seeing here is the H500 comes with a exhaust fan, the TD500 does not. So you get two 200 uh, millimeter fans in the front, which they're completely RGB, and a 140 millimeter exhaust fan, which is nice. And you can also add a 200 millimeter fan here at the top, and you could do uh, two 140s and I believe two 120s if I remember correctly and you could do three 140s in the front uh, three 120s in the front or two 20 or two 200 millimeter fans it's got a PSU PSU <laughs> I'm trying to say Pikachu uh, it's got a PSU <laughs> Jesus Christ it's got a PSU shroud uh, two hard drive bays. Um, it doesn't really show you the back, but it's got a glass side panel, if I can get back to it, which is really nice. Tinted glass. Um, I wish it wasn't tinted, but that's okay. Uh, if I go back down here, hopefully they have more pictures on cable management. Well, okay, so they don't have any pictures for cable management. But the cable management is fairly nice. You also get a um, clear front panel. It is not glass, it is plastic. So if you wanna have that extra shiny bling, you can, but I recommend you stick with the mesh because that gives you a lot more airflow and cools everything down to a nice temperature. Uh, let's see, I don't know too much about the Cooler Master, what is it? Cooler Master Q300L. That's a micro ATX. So, yet again, um, I would really stick with the ATX, but yet again, let me see here. Yeah, so that's that's not going to work, is it? Or it might? Maybe? I don't know. It, it might work. I can't remember if the uh, ATX mother or if it's ATX or micro ATX. I believe it's just ATX that comes in the Omen, so I don't know if that will actually fit. But that's another thing that I would want you guys to know about, is there's plenty of motherboards that do a lot more than the motherboard that comes with the HP Obelisk, or, you know, the Omen Obelisk. Obelisk? Obelisk. Jesus, I cannot talk today. Omen Obelisk. And um, yeah, but I, I just want to talk about cooling upgrades for right now because I don't want to get 
too much in detail this is the stuff that I did just for cooling as I said I was gonna make a video for cooling um, so I got this one right here the H500 and since you have such a really nice case or what I chose for a air cooler was the be quiet Uh, Dark Rock Pro 4 and this thing has been amazing it has kept everything nice and cool I am running around 30 degrees uh, Celsius I idle maybe sometimes 29 or 28 it just depends on what my computer is doing in the background but it is an amazing air cooler it I've only seen 56 C out of it maybe 57 under a semi heavy load for like gaming it just depends on what your game is utilizing at the time it could be a CPU or GPU you just gotta look at it but for the most part I played plenty of games I've checked out you know different types of games that utilizes both CPU and GPU so it's it's a really good cooler I have no complaints it's got a 4.7 if I remember yeah because that's what it's showing a 4.7 out of 5 star which you can see that people really like this thing and it's for a good reason now if you don't really have the cash to spend on something like this which really isn't a bad deal you can go let's see I guess I don't know you could go with the uh, BK024 which is still a great cooler and at a lower price point uh, point oh dear god help me but if you're worried about clearance on the uh, Omen Obelisk board the ATX then I would suggest that you have this one because it takes up less space and I was able to get this on the ATX board with no issues well I say no issues but the RAM that it comes with um, the Omen Obelisk if you have the single stick or even dual stick uh, dual channel setup you might wanna choose maybe some Corsair Vengeance uh, RAM because it's a little bit lower I'm not talking about the RGB ones but you want to get the uh, vengeance the standard vengeance ones and that will help you work out what you need to do and still have good clearance and not have them pressing up against the RAM moving along so there are plenty plenty even this uh, cooler master liquid cooler I would suggest but oh, goodness gracious but the only reason why I would suggest this one is if you still have your case that the Omen Obulus you know ships with everything you know as a pre-built you want to make sure that you have something that will fit and uh, this has been working this has been working out for a lot of people and so I don't really have any complaints about it it seems like it would be a decent cooler but for everything else in your system I would definitely definitely move your components from the Omen to a much better air ventilated case if you want to get that extra cooling performance and it will save yourself some you know change down the line because if for any reason you're starting off with overheating problems from the get-go it could do some damage really could do some damage so for the longevity of your PC and the performance of your PC I would definitely go with one a better case and two a better cooler because the stock cooler just isn't cutting it that was even before I got this cooler it just it was still having issues with overheating but maybe it's just for the few people that got one that was overheating. Um, so let's let's look at a let's look at ATX mid tower. 
and we want to go let's go with cooler master so we want to apply that okay so yeah 59 bucks for a pretty good size case and it's all mesh well it's got holes to cut out but for the most part it looks like it's got really good support it's got ATX micro ATX mini ITX support and it looks like you just have a really good option or a really good um, variety of options thank you and it says clean routing space okay it's not too shabby looks like it's got some cable management going on of course if you don't like your PSU being out without having a shroud then you know that's more subjective but 60 bucks for a case really isn't that bad and then you got this one down here which is the B600L for 50 bucks okay yeah sleek and elegant design um, I don't know it doesn't look like it's mesh from the picture it looked like it was mesh on the front but it doesn't seem like it is so that would be a no-go for me but yet again that's a bigger case you can put more fans in there and you know add a little bit more airflow but essentially what this video is about is you know cooling so if I were you I would save up and get a case and transfer all the components from that old case into this into the new case because trust me it will save you a big headache down the line and you won't have to necessarily buy a whole new computer if something overheats and you know shorts or something like that it may not I might be over exaggerating but I just rather have a peace of mind knowing that my computer is going to work and run at good temperatures because before out of the box I was getting 56 C on idle and I think I reached up to 80 C in gaming and that was a constant thing it wasn't just once in a blue moon it was a constant thing and those fans were just screaming for air so unless you don't want you know a turbine engine next to your your head or your or next to you I, I don't know why I said head but I guess it kind of works because my PC sitting over here and it's running super quiet but even during gaming it does not get that loud and that's another thing to bring around or bring to the table is the be quiet dark rock pro 4 is very quiet and that's why they call it quiet and I just added to Noctua uh, I can't remember what model number fans they are but two Noctua fans at the top to keep everything cool or to exhaust the heat from the um, cooler that way it does not you know keep any unnecessary heat even though this thing performs like a champ I just like I said but yeah and you can always go with Noctua they have a black version of the NHD 15 which I almost went with but it was out of stock at the time but there's there's so many options you don't have to go like too crazy to get the cooling performance you just kind of have to find what works best with you know what CPU what motherboard but of course if you're rocking the 9700 non K then yeah you you won't have to necessarily worry worry about that but that is all i have for you guys i hope this information was helpful if you want to see more videos like this please let me know down in the comments below you guys did awesome on the last one and i didn't expect that video to blow up so thank you guys again and you all have a wonderful day make sure your pcs are nice and cool and don't explode see you in the next one